Hey guys, remember this from the shop press video? Can you guess what we're gonna do? Stick around and find out. So let's get going on this bell. We're just gonna scribe a line all the way around with this. Okay, got through that. I don't know what the heck's in here, but it can't be good to breathe. Okay, guys, well, I abandoned that uh, settling tank because that stuff inside of there, that uh, core was just too nasty. I didn't want to mess with that stuff, even with the breathing apparatus on. So I'm just going to go ahead and start some of the other stuff and I'll just wait and get another cylinder and then we'll finish the cylinder last. So I just taken this pipe wrench and just bending the this ring around here. I got two of these done. I just went around here and that works actually pretty darn good. I got it. That doesn't have to be a perfect circle because it's going to be inside the cylinder. So I did one big one there and I did a small one around my jack handle here. And I'm just going to cut these off and they'll be interlinked to each other as part of the dong assembly and the uh, and the stem coming out of the top of the cylinder. So we'll just get making this other stuff right just now. going to uh, make a few welds here real quick and then we'll start piecing it together here. pick her up this guy tack this guy in place right here. Let me see if I can do it so you guys can see it a little bit here. I'm going to turn up my machine a little bit. That's pretty thick stuff. I'm going to go up to 130 amps. I've never welded that high before. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to put this link on here. And I'm going to go ahead and set this guy. In here like so.
All right, guys. She ain't going nowhere now. So we got our... This guy will go up through the, um, the gas cylinder, and we'll put a little bend on this thing once, uh, once it gets in the cylinder, and then this should allow this to uh, swing free here. Okay, guys, here we go. That's uh, going to be our bonger in our cylinder right there. Well, I haven't given up entirely on this cylinder. Right. It's got this uh, white, chalky stuff in there. It's just nasty. And so I'm going to put the breathing apparatus on. And I've made one uh, mark around the top. I'm going to cut this whole top off. And then I'm going to come down uh, both this side and flip it over and come down the other side and break the thing in half. And then that stuff should pop out. And then I'll weld it back up. So that's the plan. Well guys, that seemed to work out actually pretty good. I can actually use this now, so. Hopefully it makes a good bell and it's worth it. Kind of a pretty sound. Okay guys, now well, we're gonna start uh, putting the bell together here. Gonna get a couple tacks together. Okay, well here we go guys, we're going to run the stem, our gonger here, through our, through our bell. take and bend the stem here. Okay guys, well, I'm calling this uh failure because uh 
even though I like the ram coming out of the bottom. I do not like the hook on the top, that big shepherd's hook. I, it doesn't fit well. I don't uh, like the line that's coming out of the bottom. It's not heavy duty enough. And the ring is like a cowbell and not like a bong. It's, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it is a bong and it's not a ding. So um, yeah, it just hits the bottom of there and it just makes a horrible sound. So this is all getting changed. So uh, we'll back to the drawing board and I'll bring you back when we fix her up. All right, I'm gonna finish this bell up quick like here. So we took, uh, we this was the stem before it came out, it had that big shepherd's cane thing. I didn't care for it. So that was coming up through the, through the cylinder. Just took that off of there, so we're down to this. So what I plan on doing now is uh, uh, just uh, welding these two together uh, this link will go on there and that'll poke down inside of the cylinder down like that and then I'll be able to come underneath there and attach uh, this guy on there and then onto there and then we'll give her a shot after that so let me get set up here to do a little welding That's our uh, ring and our handle here. So now I'm going to weld this onto the cylinder. Okay, guys. Well, there's the there's the handle all welded on there. And so I'm about ready to put the uh, the donger inside. Well, there's the bell with the new ring on the top. And I got some manila line for the ringer. Hey Andy, over at Andy's doghouse. He works on a 54 five window Dodge. My wife just happened to bring this pillow home the other day. And I think it might just be a 54 Dodge five window. Yeah, let me know on that one. All right, so anyways, uh, this uh, concludes the the bell video there's the ring on the top and the line there give her a little ring here I like that ring now better I did a little adjusting a little more welding on it made it more solid so yeah uh, appreciate you guys watching the video and please comment we're gonna have a really nice day here in Seattle. We're expecting record highs in the next couple days around here. It's just really gonna get scorching. Well, you guys all uh, have a nice summer and be safe. Till the next one.